Our next topic is voltage dividers. So let us have a circuit as the one shown here. In the circuit, we have a voltage source. We call it VI, stands for the input voltage source with internal resistance RI. This may ensemble a bar supply with internal resistance. This is connected to a load resistance RL. Note that in this circuit, RI and RL are connected in series so that they have the same current. The voltage divider concept state that the voltage across the resistors is divided according to their values. That's why we call it voltage divider because the voltage is divided across both resistors. So we can state that VL which is the voltage across the load resistor RL is equal to RL over the sum of both resistors RI plus RL times the total voltage that is VI. This equation is short and sweet but it involves two steps together. In the first step it solves for the current which is the voltage over the sum of the two resistors then to get the voltage you multiply by the load resistor so the voltage divider equation is a combination of two steps in one it solves for the current first and then it multiplies by the resistance to give you the voltage we want to investigate three common cases for this simple voltage divider circuit in the first case we will assume that RL is much, much, much less than RI. So the load resistance is much smaller than the internal resistance. Then we can assume that the voltage across the load, VL, is approximately zero. Let's show you that through a numerical example. In this example, we have a 5 volts voltage source that is connected to a 10 kilo ohm resistor and the load is 10 ohm resistor so clearly the load resistance the 10 ohm resistance is much much smaller than the internal resistance the 10 kilo ohm resistance by applying the voltage divider equation VL is equal to the load resistance that is 10 over the sum which is 10 K plus 10 times the total voltage which is 5 volts and this will equal to 0 0.0099 volts which is about 10 millivolts this is very small value compared to the 5 volts so we can approximate that to be roughly zero the second case that we are interested in is when RL is much 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 bigger than RI so the load resistance is much bigger than the input resistance then the load voltage is approximately equal to VI then we can assume that the load voltage the voltage across RL is approximately equal to VI let us show you that through example in this example let's have the input resistance to be 10 ohms and the load resistance to be 10 kilo ohms again using the voltage divider equation we can solve for the voltage across the load that is VL so we can say that VL is equal to 10k that's the same resistance over the sum which is 10k plus 10 times 5 and that is equal to 4.95 volts so we can approximate this value to say approximately it equals to VI which is the 5 volts now those two conditions are very important when it comes to amplifier design because when we design amplifiers we would like to see the amplifier at the load and make sure that the internal resistance at the output is much much smaller than the load resistance so that all of the voltage is transferred to the load so this condition become important when we design voltage amplifiers that's why voltage divider as a concept is important in electronics even though it is a very simple concept the third important case 
that we are interested in is when the load resistance RL is equal to the internal resistance RI. Then the voltage across the load is basically one half the total voltage VI. Let us have example. And in this example, we have two resistors. Each resistor equals to 10 kilo ohms. Applying the voltage divider equation, we can say that VL is equal to the load resistance, which is 10K, over the sum of the two resistors, which is 10K plus 10K times the total voltage, which is 5K. This will equal to 2.5 volts. So if the two resistors are equal, the voltage is divided equally among those two resistors. This condition is important when we want to transfer the power to the load. Transferring the power to the load requires us to have two equivalent resistances. This concept becomes very important in advanced electronic designs, for example, concept of something we call impedance matching, which is based on transmission line theory. It is a little bit advanced for us. But I wanted you to see that the voltage divider as a circuit is very important in electronics, and those three cases are very important for us, so we need to deal with those.